A huge congratulations to the entire Volt Army on reaching 65,000 holders across the three chains. This is the BSC chain, Polygon, and Ethereum. 65,000 holders was hit last night. Huge congratulations to everyone in the Volt Army and a very, very, very impressive milestone. Now, in this video, we're going to be talking about the month of March and all of the insane utilities that are coming, as well as a look ahead into maybe a top exchange that could be coming as well. If you're part of the Volt Army, Hit that thumbs up, leave some electricity bolts in the comments, and let's get into the video. So we just mentioned these 65,000 holders that are that that we hit last night. Huge accomplishment here. But obviously for March, we've already talked about this. We have the $100,000 buyback that's going to be happening over the course of the next 10 days. And this right here is a look at the buy. This was the third buyback every day for the rest of the month until March 31st for the next seven days. It's a week from today. We will have a $10,000 buyback going directly into the project, which we absolutely love to see. Also coming in March is the VDSE game getting listed on Steam, which is a huge streaming platform. Uh, tons of games on there like PGA, NBA, Star Wars, massive names. We're going to see the VDSE game on there, which I might have to add is a very, very fun game. And the Volti card is officially coming out this month. The Volti card is something I'm very, very excited about because it's just an easy way to spend your crypto. Right now, if you want to spend your crypto, you have to transfer it from your wallet to a exchange. You got to cash out that money on your exchange. You then have to transfer that to your bank account. Sometimes it could take three to five days with the Volti card, according to Pablo Crow, who's a leader in this community. He said it takes up to five minutes to transfer your crypto from a wallet to this card and spend fiat, which is honestly, I don't think I've seen a card card like this yet so a first of its kind of a card and we can't forget the burns this will be happening later today ladies and gentlemen we're going to be doing a manual burn for the automatic burns that happen to equal the automatic burns that happens so you could say that's why every friday of the month which is today we will mainly burn the same amount of our smart contracts burned on the three chains over the past seven days you can see here so far this month volt enu has burned two hundred and seventy thousand. $270,000 worth of tokens, which as you know, as supply goes down, when you burn it, demand goes up. So we're decreasing the supply every single day and doing double on days like today on Friday. Now, something I want to talk about as well, and like I said, this is just speculation so far, but as I mentioned in my live streams, I've been covering this project for 15 months and it's not every day that they retweet another exchange. So Qcoin said, what project would you like to see get listed next on Qcoin? Volt Inu retweeted it. Is there something there? I don't want to look too far into it right now. Maybe they accidentally retweeted it. Maybe they didn't. But we shall see. Is there something with Qcoin? As you guys know, one of my favorite exchanges, a tier one exchange for sure, and a top five exchange in the world. Volt Inu getting listed on Qcoin would be absolutely massive. So congrats to the community. 65,000 holders incredible milestone everybody should be proud manual burns happening today uh, we also have the hundred thousand dollar buyback and the vdsc game will be listed on steam as well as the volti card coming soon we appreciate your guys' support happy friday manual burns are incoming we'll see you guys on the next episode